Welcome back to section 8 of our course. We are really starting to get rolling with our user experience skills. In the previous section, we started to learn about how to apply usability and heuristics evaluation to our user experience and our website designs. These usability factors and our best practices knowledge will be applied as we continue to wireframe out the rest of our website experience. In this section, we'll be growing our web design skills by building out more of our website. Wireframing is a process that should consider the system you are designing for, as well as your user. We are going to be circling back and using the thinking from section 4, the first section of wireframing, to complete our website. In this section, we'll talk about wireframing mobile screens, wireframing tablet screens, wireframing desktop screens. Then we'll review our usability and our media usage and complete the website user experience. So let's get going. In the first video on wireframing mobile screens, we'll take a look at designing the next section of our site and checking off pages from our sitemap. Any website is a system of interconnected pages and interactions. And when we design, we need to consider the end-to-end -end user experience. How a user comes in to the website and what device do they use and then how do they leave and under what circumstances. The web used to be one modality, i.e. just the computer. But nowadays, a user might start a website on their computer, then look at it on their phone, and then complete the transaction on their tablet. All these actions are asynchronous, which makes thinking about user experiences more crucial. If we want our experiences to be usable, fast, clear, and we're going to add pleasurable and fun, we should continue to work from the hardest screen first to accomplish these values when continuing to build our website pages out. Let's open up our user flow document from the earlier section of screenflow.ai. We observed our user enter the action method section of the site. We are going to build out more of our website screens for each of these major sections to complete our website system. Designing in the same pattern as your observation of a user task is a useful tactic when designing out pages. Open up your wireframe document, GS Wireframes. We have a set of home page with three screens. Using the Artboards tool, let's copy and create the next page template or wireframes for your site. You could do this through multiple methods. You could copy or paste, or you could save as and create a new file for the next section. In this case, I'm going to keep them all up on one page and copy the artboards so that we can see them together. Hold down the shift when you're in the artboard section and drag the page below. Now let's label each of these artboards to help us keep our document organized. We will be working on the content section. So label the copied artboards as content, AC desktop, content one, AC tablet, content one, AC mobile. I'm using AC as action method to follow our user path. Great. Now let's repeat this process for the next major template. Although we are leaning on Illustrator for our wireframes production, there are many tools including Sketch, OmniGraffle, UXPin, Axure, etc. And you may choose any software tool that fits your needs best. But we'll continue to use Illustrator moving forward. We're going to create things for the content detail. Here's three pages for that. We'll repeat for the shopping cart. Three screens for that. And last but not least, we'll include one for a checkout section. And we'll label that with checkout. Now that we have a majority of our pages that make up our web system, 
Let's start wireframing each of these sections as we discussed when building out our home page. We're going to start by going through mobile first. Let's go back to the content template that we created with a uh, sitemap and consider what these sections need to do. If you remember, the content pages allow users to look at content in a grid and scroll down the page to explore content. Our pages should continue to use this organization. Let's use the same wireframe assets from the home page to structure our content template. This page needs one, a title. I think using a featured sale product at the top could help move more information. So we could do that with it here. And then we could create a grid of products on the mobile screen, which could mean we go put two up across at a minimum, like this. We need to include a way to filter or search. So let's pull that down and add there. And then we need to end the page with a footer. Great. Now let's go back and include some best practices into the titles and selection of buttons like this. Awesome. In the next section, we will consider how to scale, to scale up, expand and expand this from tablet to desktop. And let's move to the content detail. Go down to the next template, the content detail for the mobile screen. Content detail needs a title like this. It needs a featured or zoom of a product that slides left to right, which we saw here. Below is a description, so we can copy that and add. We need to include the price, so this is a new section. A way to purchase, so this is a, a CTA or a button and then a potentially a way to share, which is social. Okay, starting to maybe look like this. Just doing the mobile pages first so that we keep a consistent experience between this modality. We're then gonna go into the shopping cart. Shopping cart needs a page title. It needs the item that you added to the cart. So space to show that. It needs the item the price, the number, and the information of what you put in the cart. It needs a checkout button, and it needs a back to shopping button, and a footer. Okay, we're starting to get there. The next template is the checkout on a mobile screen. This page is going to need a page title. It's going to need your image that you're purchasing it's going to need a checkout form. This is where best practices become really important that we discussed before. Checkout forms need your name, your address, your billing address. That could be a TOG checkbox. It says that they're both. Purchase options, whether it's credit card form or PayPal, and a footer. Great. Our website, from a mobile perspective, is starting to get more complete. When designing a web system, we need to consider thinking through the entire platform and how a user goes from entry through purchasing of a product. We have made the screen flow from the hardest experience on the mobile view. Moving from entering through cart and checking out. 